Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we are checking out a Springfield Prodigy. This is one of our good friend's personal pistols, Duck1776. If you haven't seen him, go check him out on Instagram. He is awesome. Um, but yeah, super cool dude, big John Moses Browning fan like ourselves, and this is his personal Prodigy. Now, when this was sent to us, it was already Cerakoted. Uh, we basically changed out a few parts and did a couple custom touches. Nothing too drastic, but you know, just to make it uh, a little extra special. So we went with the long curved trigger. These don't really exist for 2011s, so that's something unique to us that we do uh, for basically any 2011 pistols, uh, double stack that you have. Uh, we also put in a ring hammer, really nice in there. He's a big ring hammer, hammer <laughs> connoisseur, so that is definitely something he's gonna love. We went ahead and melted and radiused all the edges on the factory safeties, so they're not as sharp and quite as geometric and gonna cut you from the factory, so that's nice. What else on this guy? did a, uh, a 40 line per inch uh, check ring for the mag release. So that guy's really nice now. Super, super grippy, you can't slip off. And of course, angled him. Other than that, yeah, we just did a little Cerakote for the trigger, the control group, uh, did graphite black, just to touch everything off that we touched. And uh, this thing is awesome. But can't forget the single stage trigger job. So absolutely no take up, that is the wall. There's your brake, positive audible reset, click, you're at your wall again, your brake. Very little movement on, movement on that reset. As you can see, not a lot of movement whatsoever. So that thing's awesome. Follow-up shots are gonna be really quick with this guy. Other than that, it's a uh, Springfield Prodigy. Nothing ex uh, extra special. The Cerakote job's really cool. There's a stippling job. Um, I will put in the uh, notes below uh, who did all that work. I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but it's awesome work, can't complain. So we're getting a lot of these uh, Springfield Prodigy's in. We have this one over here too. This is just a little commander or the, the I think the 4.25 inch barrel. If I'm not mistaken. This gentleman wanted his all silver or a silver contrasting. So we boarded off the factory grips with the silver, did the, tr the three hold trigger and of course um, the slide. We added a sear to this one. So the trigger's a little bit nicer than factory, but there's of course a lot more movement than ours. We have this one here too. Uh, this one's got some EGW internals. It has a uh, extra wide or bulletproof Wilson Combat double sided safety. Those are really nice and round and contoured uh, with the EGW hammer. So, we're getting a lot of these prodigies in, guys. A lot of them. Um, you know, you don't have to go full bore on them. A couple hundred bucks can really set you aside and make you a really nice pistol because we know there's some issues with them out of the box. But uh, yeah, we can address that and uh, send you on your way. Anyways, questions, comments, concerns, leave them and we will answer accordingly. Until next time.